Hi kids! Today, we're going to study English. Our topic for today is about interpret simple graphs, tables, and pictographs. At the end of the module, you should be able to interpret simple graphs, tables, and pictographs. Direction. Study the pictograph and answer the questions below. Write the letter of the correct answer in a sheet of paper. The pictograph is about NBBES grade 3 pupils' favorite fruits. Apple, banana, strawberry, grapes, and orange. Each picture or symbol or smiley represents 10 votes. What is the pictograph about? A. Number of pupils in grade 3 B. Number of pupils who passed the test C. Number of pupils from North Bay Boulevard Elementary School who eat different fruits or D. NBBES grade 3 pupils' favorite fruits Letter D. Very good. NBBES grade 3 pupils' favorite fruits Next, number 2 how many pupils in grade 3 like apples? A70, B80, C90, D100. What is your answer? Letter C90. Next, number 3. Which is the most favorite fruit of grade 3 pupils? A orange, B apple, C banana, D grapes. Letter B apple. Very good. Next, number 4. If we are going to arrange the number of votes each fruit gets from lowest to highest, what would be the correct order? A. Apple, banana, grapes, strawberry, orange. B. Orange, strawberry, grapes, banana, apple. C. Strawberry, grapes, apple, banana, orange. Or D. Apple, strawberry, grapes, banana, orange. From lowest to highest letter... B, of course, orange, strawberry, grapes, banana, and apple. Very good. Next, number five. Based from the pictograph, how many grade 3 pupils were enrolled in North Bay Boulevard Elementary School? A, 240, B, 230, C, 220, or D, 210? Letter B, 230. Next, look for the words that tell adverbs of manner in the word search and write it down in a sheet of paper. Did you find some adverbs of manner? Very good. Happily, cheaply, strongly, readily, and quickly. If you find the five adverbs of manner, you are correct. And these are the five adverbs of manner in the word search. Happily, strongly, readily, quickly, and cheaply. Now remember this kids. To interpret graphs and tables, one should carefully study and observe what is presented. Pictograph is a pictorial symbol for a word or phrase. If you want to interpret graphs and tables accurately, you should be a keen observer. As pupil, you should learn this lesson to be able to interpret the meaning of graphs, tables, and pictographs correctly. Now, let us study the table below and answer the following questions. Write the letter of the correct answer in a sheet of paper. So we have here scores in integrative assessment of grade 3 NARA. Name of pupil, Nathan, Jamie, Josh, and Kurt. The subjects, English, Math, ESP, Science, MTB, MLE, Filipino, AP, and MAPE. Number 1. What is the table about? A. Scores in summative test of grade 3 NARA pupils. B. Scores in integrative assessment of grade 3 NARA pupils. 
C. Scores in the quarterly assessment of grade 3 NARA pupils or D. Scores of all the pupils in North Bay Boulevard Elementary School. What is your answer? Letter B. Scores in integrative assessment of grade 3 NARA pupils. Next, number 2. Who among from the pupils get the perfect score based from the table? A. Nathan, B. Josh, C. Jamie, D. Kurt. Letter C. Of course, Jamie because she got the perfect score of 5 in all the subjects. Next, number 3. Which subject is the most learned subject because all of them get perfect scores? A. English, B. Math, C. MTB, MLE, D. Filipino. Letter D. Filipino. Very good. Next. Number four. How can we arrange the following name of pupils based on their scores and it should be from highest to lowest order? A. Josh, Kurt, Nathan, Jamie. B. Jamie, Nathan, Kurt, Josh. C. Kurt, Jamie, Nathan, Josh. Or D. Josh, Nathan, Kurt, Jamie. What is your answer? Letter B. Jamie, Nathan, Kurt, and Josh. Next, number five. Based on the table, who among the pupils get the lowest scores in his or her integrative assessment? A. Nathan, B. Jamie, C. Josh, D. Kurt. Letter C. Josh. Next. Keep in mind that to be able to interpret these graphs and tables, you should observe carefully the graphs and tables presented. Always check the data and symbol presented to be able to interpret these graphs correctly. So, for us to be able to interpret graphs and tables or pictographs, we should be a keen observer. Kids, remember, we have this legend. We should carefully understand or know what each symbol represents or how many symbols does the pictograph or the picture or the symbol represents to be able to answer the questions. A pictograph is a graphic symbol or picture representing things or ideas. A legend is an explanation of the symbol picture used. Read the paragraph and study the graph below and answer the following questions. Write the letter of your answer in a sheet of paper. Grade 3 pupils need to learn to write properly, especially in cursive. This is the last stage of primary pupils, preparing them to higher grade level of their schooling. Writing is one way to communicate with our families, friends, relatives, and to other people in written form. So, as pupils, you should learn to write neatly and clearly to express what you feel through a written word. So, I have here a table. Number of pupils who need to improve their writing ability. We have Nara, Akasha, Ipil Ipil, Molave. What is the graph about? A. Number of pupils who need to improve their writing ability. B. Number of pupils who need to improve their reading ability. C. Number of pupils who need to improve their mathematical skills. Or D. Number of pupils who need to improve their reading and writing ability. Letter A. Number of pupils who need to improve their writing ability. Next. Number 2. How many sections are there in grade 3? A. 5. B. 4. C. 3. D. 2. Letter B, 4. We have Nara, Akasha, Ipil Ipil, and Malabe. Next, number 3. Based from the table, how many grade 3 pupils need an improvement on their writing ability? A, 10, B, 30, C, 20, D, 40. Letter C, 20. Number 4. Which section in grade 3 has the greatest number of pupils who need to improve their writing ability? A. Nara, B. Akasha, C. Ipil Ipil, D. Molave. Letter D. Molave. Number 5. If you are one of the pupils with bad penmanship, are you willing to participate in the writing intervention in your class? Why? A. No, because it is boring. B. Yes, because I will meet new friends. C. Yes, because it's help. this will help me improve my penmanship. Or D. No, because I would rather sleep than to attend intervention classes. Letter C. Yes, because this will help you improve your penmanship. 
Next, read the paragraph and study the pictograph below and answer the following questions. Choose the letter of the correct answer in the box and write it in a sheet of paper. Do you like vegetables? Miguel likes vegetables. He has a vegetable garden. His garden has tomato plants, eggplants, okra, and carrots. He counted his plants as he watered them. There are 20 tomato plants, 30 okra, 25 eggplants, and 10 carrots. That night, he drew his plants. Hmm, there are 20 tomatoes. I will draw one tomato for every 5 tomato plants. And this is what Miguel drew. Miguel's Vegetable Garden. So these are the vegetables, tomatoes, okras, eggplants, carrots. Number of vegetables planted. Legend, one vegetable means five. Number one, what is the pictograph about? Letter A, it is about Miguel's Vegetable Garden. Number two, what is meant by given legend? Number, letter B, it represents one vegetable is equal to five vegetable. Next, number three, how many tomatoes did Miguel plant? Letter C, 20. Next, how many lady fingers or okra did Miguel plant? Letter D, 30. Next, how many eggplants did Miguel plant? Letter E, 25. Read the paragraph and study the pictograph below and answer the following questions. Choose the letter of the correct answer in the box and write it in a sheet of paper. Staying at home without doing nothing aside from our online class was so boring. That was the reason our family decided to have our own tomato garden. My grandmother, mother, my younger sister Mia, my younger brother Ken and I had a tomato garden. We planted tomatoes in our garden. Our asynchronous class started at 8 o'clock in the morning. That was the reason why my siblings and I had time to take good care of our tomato plants. Amidst the pandemic, we were able to do worthwhile activity from October 22 until December 2020. In our vertical gardening, we had a good harvest and we really had fun that time. Look at the pictograph below to see how many tomatoes we had grown in our garden. Answer the questions below. Zia's family tomato garden. So, we have the names grandmother, mother, Zia, Mia, and Ken. Number of tomato grown was represented by hearts. So, each heart represents three tomatoes. Number one. Let us answer the following question based on the pictograph. What is the pictograph about? Letter a. It is about Zia's family tomato garden. Number two. What is meant by the given legend? Letter B. It represents one orange heart is equal to three tomatoes. Next. Number three. Who has the most number of tomatoes? Letter C. Grandmother. Next. Number four. How many tomatoes did Mia and Ken have? Letter D. Nine tomatoes. Next. Number five. How many tomatoes are there in all? Letter E, 45. Direction. Study the pictograph and answer the questions below. Choose the letter of the correct answer in the box and write it, write it in a sheet of paper. Favorite foods of grade 3, Nara. Cheesecake, chocolate, pizza, lumpiang Shanghai, and ice cream. Each legend re represents three pupils. What is pictograph about? Letter B. Favorite foods of grade 3, Nara. Next, number 2. What is meant by the given legend? Letter E. Each symbol represents 3 pupils. Very good. Next, number 3. What are the best 3 favorite foods of the, few of the pupils? Letter D. Pizza, Lumpiang, Shanghai, and ice cream. Next, number four. What is the symbol used to represent the number of pupils in the graph? Okay, letter C, smiley face. Next, number five. Among grade two pupils, how many of them like pizza? Letter A, 15. Good job, kids. Very good. Thank you for listening, kids. Until our next lesson, I'm your teacher in English, Mom Rachel.